So guys, the pound shop. I have not done a video like this for, what, four years? And I went in the other day and I picked up a load of stuff. A load of stuff that I wouldn't have normally thought about, to be honest. But I bought it, I've used it, I absolutely love it. And there's a few things in there that I bought and I thought would be very helpful for you guys. So I've popped it in a video. But anyway, enjoy the video and I'll catch you in a bit. So the first thing that I found were these trays. Now, trays are always useful, but these trays are a lot more useful for a couple of reasons. The first one is 3D printing. Cleaning up your 3D prints is messy. Now, it's not just the cleaning them up, it's carrying them about. And when they're covered in resin, when you need to scrape them off the build plate, I've dripped it on the carpet, I've, <laughs> I've got it everywhere. Whereas, I used to put just some towel under and carry them over. It, it's a bit of a bit of a nightmare. But on these trays, you can break them off the build plate onto your blue roll, put them into the cleaner or your however you clean them, and carry them over there without getting resin all over your other printers or your work surface in that area. Now these trays. They're also good for priming your models on, carry them outside or to wherever you spray your models. But the reason why I like them is they're covered in silicon nipples. These silicon nipples mean that when you put your based miniatures on, unlike what I'm doing here, they don't slip around when you spray them. So it means you don't have to stick everything down, which sometimes does get annoying and it adds time. Whereas these trays are great for that. Now the next thing I want to talk about from the power shop is mounting tape. I've been super gluing, I've been blue tacking, I've been doing all sorts. Now mounting tape is pretty strong, however it doesn't stick too hard to the model. I used to use double sided sticky tape, but mounting tape is far better. And it's a nice strength, it's not overly strong, but it's not underly strong and it will hold even a big model like this. Now when you're sub-assembling, sometimes you can't stick a big proportion of that model down. So what I like to do is use blue tack and cocktail steerers, all available at local pound shops around the UK. And if you're sub-assembling for gluing bolters on, or even big parts like this helmet for this bus that I'm doing. Now, I don't like magnifying glasses, as in especially the desk lamp magnifiers, because you lose all depth perception. My eyes aren't great anymore, and they're only going to get worse with age. Now, painting miniatures, you want full depth perception, which glasses help with. I can't see a miniature or read a bottle until it's at almost full arm length. A pair of plus two readers can half the minimal focus distance, which is great for miniatures. Now, speaking of miniatures, mixing plates, oil paints can be all found at most pound shops. And I wanted to play with these, one to see if they're any good, mainly for terrain. The problem when you're using acrylic washers on terrain is they're dry, so you have to work quite methodically and go around because you get quite a lot of tide marks. Best thing about oils, they take a lot longer to dry, and you can wipe them off when, when they are dried with a bit more white spirit. Now, the pigmentation of these washers isn't bad. The brown is pretty good, and the black is awesome. Um, they're not as good as, say, artist inks, but they do work surprisingly well. And if anybody is curious about oil paints, it's not a massive investment. It's only a couple of quid. Now, I'd like to thank Ninjan for this next one. It's not something I'd thought about. Now, these eyeshadow sponges are great uh, for just removing the excess wash by adding a bit of white spirit to it. And with it being quite an absorbent sponge, it holds quite a lot of the wash or white spirits so you don't have to keep going back they're a lot better than using a brush so cheers ninja anything for you lukey poo the next thing that i'm wanting to talk about is uh, picture frames picture frames are great for dioramas and they're also good for basic material they come with acrylic sheets in or glass which is unfortunate sometimes but some of them come with a nice acrylic glass front which is great for basing your miniatures on also, using the picture frame itself makes a great diorama base. So I bought a few bits so I could build a diorama with stuff from the pound shop. Using some wood filler. I use wood filler rather than a spackle filler because it's a bit more spongy. However, 
it's not it's not what I'd call cheap. I ended up using the entire tub to do this little A5 area. I'd much rather use compound, but it's it's possible. You can go to the pound shop and buy a few materials and make yourself a nice little diorama. Even the paints. You can buy some acrylic paints or even use your oil paints to uh, paint this up before you chuck on your uh, base reddits. Now, the pound shop is full of stuff that's not for this hobby, but buying a few bits, like the trays, like the picture frames, like just cheap paints, shows how accessible the hobby actually is. You just don't need to buy branded stuff. And the stuff that you do get is a great entry level way of buying it and seeing if you like it, especially with the oils or even basing things in picture frames. It's a pound rather than spending £30 on a plinth. So you've got more money to spend on the hobby products that you actually want or need that you can't get from the pound shop. Like my amazing base ready range. <laughs> Just throwing on a couple of desert sand and stone, a bit of tropical beach, sealing it with a matte scenic sealant chucking on some homemade grass tufts in random patches. Surprising how natural and real your cheap diorama that you've thrown together can look. Now I've really enjoyed this process and you know, you guys know that I love going to the pound shop. It's what started this whole channel off. Now if there's anything that you found or there's something that you can buy from a local pound shop near you or wherever, or like a discount store, Pop it in the links below and let everybody know where it is, how you use it and how you find it. The oil paints for me were eye-opening. They're not amazing compared to like artist ones, but they're pretty good. And all the other stuff that I got from there, it's all pretty good stuff for the hobby. It works very well, especially the trays. And if this makes the hobby entry-level point a lot more accessible for more people, I'm all for it. So guys, I hope you've liked this video. I, I love the trays and I think the oil paints are good for somebody that wants to dip the toes in and try it. They're not as good as normal oil paints, like artist ones, but for a pound, if you've never done it before, it's a nice low cost, do I like it? You've got to get used to using spirits and the smell and some people are quite sensitive to that. So see whether you like it, spend three quid on the eyeshadow uh, pads, cheers ninja, and uh, all that sort of stuff. And for, for terrain, it makes washers super cheap and far better than using like watered down acrylics. So if you want to try it, it's a couple of quid. All right, guys. But anyway, if you've liked this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check all the links below to where you can get my scenics from to help you make your cute little dioramas on your picture frames that you're going to buy. Um, but I've enjoyed doing it. It reminds me of when I started doing YouTube videos because that's what I used to do regular. And. Uh, enjoyed it i hope you have too but anyway guys i'll see you for the next videos which are going to be on the gaming table now but everything out the way in the gaming table videos are going to start getting edited now so yes it's going to be an interesting month but anyway guys i'll catch you for the next one love love love